Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little get ready with me. I have this movie premiere that I'm going to be going to with my sister. And uh, I know you guys are probably staring at my eyebrows like, what the fuck is wrong with this bitch? Well, I actually bleached my eyebrows. I went to Sally's. Shout out to Sally's. Me and my sister got invited to go to this uh, movie premiere. It's called Us. That's what the movie is called. And if you guys watch Key and Peel, I'm not sure which one is Key and which one is peel but one of them made the movie or produced the movie and i'm just really excited i installed one of my wigs so i said you know what let me just film a little get ready with me like fuck it i am gonna be vlogging for you guys today as well i did start a separate vlogging channel so if you guys want to see what i'm doing like behind the scenes like what i'm doing in my real life check out my youtube channel i will go ahead and leave the name somewhere here in this video and then i will also link it down below shout out to laura's boutique for sending me this shirt it says hashtag butita squad you guys know that i'm, a, I'm about that squad so. for today's glam i don't really have a lot of time to like do the most you know so i'm just gonna do quick ig body glam you guys know the drill with that this is a look that I always go for and a lot of you guys are always like, can you do a tutorial on this? But I feel like, oh shit, I have mascara on my eyes. <sighs> That's how you know I'm in a rush. That's how you know. I was on Twitter the other day, which by the way, if you guys aren't following me, check that out. And somebody tweeted that Pond recently came out with a cold cream slash like makeup remover. So I was at CVS and I was looking at it and it was kind of expensive. I think it retailed for like $10 or 11 10 to $12. And I was thinking about it and I opened it up to smell it, right? But in order to smell it, you actually have to lift up like the little foil. You know how sometimes when you get a product and then there's a foil on there? So I lifted it up. I said, fuck it. There's no employees around. I'm going to do it because I'm not about to spend $12 on something that I don't like how it smells. And I don't like to return shit because I'm a lazy bitch. That's just how it be. So I opened it up and I noticed that there was another Pond's cold cream makeup remover and it has a little um, cucumber little guy on there. Do you guys see it? This one I believe was like $7.99 and it came with so much more product. So I was like, you know what? Let me smell this one. I haven't tried it yet though. But somebody tweeted me and they were like, hey, you should do a review on the new Pond's makeup remover cream. But I went ahead and got this one because the other one smelled like senora, like old lady. If you guys don't know what senora is, senora is pretty much an old lady. Not that, that I have anything against old ladies, but like I just like something more like a fresh scent. So I wasn't really feeling it. So that's why I just picked this one up. So I'd rather review that one. But I guess if you guys really, really, really want me to review that one, let me know. It had been such a long time since I've put on a wig. I love wearing wigs and all, but they're just so much work. And wig stylists are really expensive and there's not that many wig stylists. So I'm the type of person that if something is really expensive to do or to get done, like my brows, I do them myself. I do everything myself because I just hate spending extra money when I'm just like, you can learn how to do that on your own. That's why I decided to learn how to put on my own wigs. But I will tell you guys that Sandrine's wigs are so fucking nice. Like out of all the wigs that I own, I just really love how her wigs lay. So I really do feel like it is worth the money buying Sandrine's wigs because I did purchase this one with my own money because she recently started doing Cardi B's hair. So she's been exclusive to her, which is why like she hasn't really been like booking people because she's just like out doing the damn thing. I heard that the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil is really good. I was recently watching Jaclyn Hill's Makeup Favorites and she said that this one is so good. And she said that you don't need to use nothing else with this, like just the oil and you are good. I've had this this oil here for a really long time like smashbox is cool but i feel like their aesthetic is really boring which is why i feel like they kind of get lost with the pr packages because you guys know i get sent a bunch of shit so you know also i did want to announce the winner for the last video that i had did sorry you guys if you don't hear me announcing like winners to contest just be patient with me do you guys want me to announce the winner for the contest that i do here on youtube in a video or do you want me to announce it on snapchat or insta snaps because i will be able to announce winners quickly like i'm talking like quick as fuck on my snapchat as well as my instagram because it's just faster for me let me know in the comments down below but i am going to be announcing the winners for the wet and wild rose collection congratulations you guys i am going to be doing more giveaways very very soon i would like to do giveaways in every video but 
you know, I just got to get my shit together. I'm still trying to get used to uploading more often here on YouTube. For those of you guys who have been following me from the past, you guys know how hard it's been for me to upload. But I feel like I've been doing so good. For my foundation, this is like my go-to foundation whenever I'm like in a hurry. And I just want like a nice coverage. This is the Frankie Rose foundation in the color olive. I swear this is like my go-to, you guys. And I didn't have time to tan. So if the foundation looks a little bit too light for me, don't even trip. Like, I prefer to look a little bit more tan than I do light. So I'm not really tripping, honestly. Oh my God. And I'm sad I'm not going to be able to have any drinks, you guys. I've been having so many problems with my stomach. And I really, really do believe that I officially have gastritis. Like, it's official. Because I burp 24-7. I always have heartburn. Anything that I eat makes my stomach hurt and I'm nauseous all day. Like, it sucks so bad. Like, I'd be eating Tums, Pepto-Bismol, and Mylanta. And I don't think it's good to do that, right? Like, I don't think it's good to be eating that stuff all the time. So yeah, that's why I'm cutting back on alcohol. I'm cutting back on hot Cheetos. I'm cutting back on spicy noodles. I'm cutting back on beer. I'm cutting back on everything that I feel like it's going to disrupt my stomach. No, but for real, like I feel like I've been really sick. Like today I went to the gym, right? And I was only able to do one workout because the oatmeal that I had eaten earlier had given me so much heartburn that I wasn't able to work out how I would want to. So that's just kind of what's been up with me. What about you guys? What have you been up to? And what do you like to do for fun? I want to try to do more new things because... You guys, when I am not in glam and I am not filming anything, you know, like I just be in sweats in a sweater. I don't put on any makeup, probably just mascara. I'm like an opposite person of what I look like right now. So if you're ever feeling down watching my videos and you're just like, oh my God, her life is so perfect. Shut the fuck up. It's not. If you guys are the winner for the giveaway, please go ahead and DM me on Instagram. My Instagram is J-E-N underscore N-Y-69 with your full name and address so that way I can get those shipped out very soon. Please make sure to give me about a week or so. I will message you the confirmation as well as the tracking number so that way you guys don't get crazy with me because sometimes people will be getting crazy with me like girl chill like i will never scam anybody i am going to always send you guys out the giveaways but it's just because i be getting busy you guys like for real some people really don't think that i'm busy but i am and you guys are going to be able to see that when you guys start to watch my vlogs so right now my vlog channel is called a day in the life of a 69 but i think i'm going to change the name for those of you guys who watch like youtubers and like People who create content on YouTube and it everything just seems like so easy. It's actually really not like right now. I'm so irritated because I feel like the lighting of this video is going to be way too bright. Like I can already kind of like feel it. Let me turn off the lights. And all <laughs> oh my God, the lighting looks so much better, right? whatever i remember when i filmed with my mom usually like the light looks like the video looks good on the little screen thing like the little viewfinder that i have right here but i don't know i have to call manual wake your ass up homie i need help contour time this is like my basic foundation routine like i need to hurry the fuck up kind of shit and i'm gonna do big ass lips whenever i do my wigs i like to do like a big ass lip you know what i mean my favorite liquid lipsticks whenever i do wear a wig like this are the laura lee cosmetics lipsticks you guys know that coffee that i was talking about on my insta snap and then also my snapchat so many people have been messaging me that they're like obsessed with it i told y'all like i told you guys that it was really strong like no joke i've been running errands all day i had to go to the bank i had to go to sally's i had to I had to bleach my brows and then I also had to meet with my stylist to finalize the outfits for tomorrow's campaign. I feel like I will be vlogging tomorrow as well. We're just going to do a cute little campaign with a very special guest. So I'm excited to show you guys those images. Campaigns are so much work. Like nobody really sees the behind the scenes of the images that go on like a cosmetic website or on their instagram it's just a lot of work like the makeup and everything 
I am getting my makeup done tomorrow as well. So that kind of lifts some weight off my shoulders because whenever I have to do my own makeup, it's very stressful. Okay, so for setting powder, I kind of want to use the Maybelline Fit Me just because... I don't know. I just want to feel like a drugstore queen, you know? This is in the shade light. I'm kind of scared, you guys. I'm kind of scared. I'm not even going to lie. My outfit is like a very cutesy outfit. And I think Ani said she was going to wear something similar to that. What time is it? <gasps> oh my god, Ani's on her way. <gasps> okay, I got her. Fuck. She's going to get here and be like, bitch. We literally have to leave here. Well, the thing starts at 7, but you know. All right, sorry, you guys. I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to be using, but... It is what it is. I'm over here talking, 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 talking like it's if I have so much time. I'm kind of having trouble finding my eyebrow brush. I only use this specific brush when I do my brows. Found it. Okay. There we go. Let's just get done with these brows. Like, this. let's just get done with them. I think I'm going to have to go in with the dark brown one. Because even though my brows are, like, light, even if you use, like, a dark pomade, it's not going to look so crazy. But you know what? It's looking nice. Let me just trust my instinct and just like go with it. The only thing that sucks about the Anastasia dip brow is that it dries pretty fast. And it's also because the one that I have is kind of old. So I'm going to start doing my eyeshadow. I wish it didn't take so long like doing your makeup. I really wish it was just like simple, easy, quick glam, you know. But also when you are wearing wigs, you kind of do have to go a little bit more dramatic with your makeup. That's what I've learned. I'm going to be going in with my Nudie Patootie pal palette because this is kind of my go-to whenever I'm like in a hurry. So I'm just going to use that. I wanted to do wing liner, but I am not going to have time. So I'm just going to pack on this bronzy shade. Fuck it. That's just what you do when you're in a hurry. But I have some bomb ass lashes that I'm going to wear that always saves the day for me. So like I ain't even tripping. Like it's more about the lashes than the actual eyeshadow like it's more like pretty girl makeup isn't this color so pretty you guys i'm obsessed with the nudie patootie palette i feel like it's like my go-to and i feel like it always saves the day because you can just pack on a shitload of it and it's not gonna look ugly and then on my lid i'm just gonna throw on my favorite shimmer pigment it is the most beautifulest pigment i have ever used in my entire life it's like my go-to whenever i want to do like a baby girl kind of vibe, but I still want to stand out. Now I'm just gonna bring down the two colors on my lower lash line just to finish this off. You guys are gonna die when you see these lashes. These are a new lash style coming very soon. I'm really excited about it. Okay, so going in with this pigment, it is called Spotlight Glitz. I'm trying to remember if I put this on with lip gloss or if I just went in. Because I feel like I just went in. But I do want to use a... Like... Um, spritz. Because I do like to wet it before I put it on. I think that's how I did it before. Yes! Pigment. Oh my god, you guys. There is nothing better than this. Do you see that? This really does give you what you're looking for. Like, it's baby girl glam. So what I do is like... I will put the glue on the lashes and then while one of them dries, I go ahead and do the other one because you do kind of need some time for them to dry and get tacky in between. So like that's what I do to save some time. I thought that these were ha like these were already broken in. That's what I hate about putting on new lashes. You have to break them in, cut them up to your size. Like I'm going to be using my favorite, favorite blush palette. This is the new Cheek Leaders Pink Squad by Benefit. Look at how pretty this is. Like, I kid you not, this is literally like my go-to all the time. Like, it's just so beautiful. I'm going to use the highlight called Tickle. It's like a pinky tone kind of highlight. It's very pretty. Very like baby doll. And then for the blush, I'm going to be using Dandelion. And then mascara, we're using Stiletto by Maybelline. I'm just going to do this in the car. And also my lipstick in the car. Because like, we don't have time. We just don't have time. Okay, I'm going to go change and then I will be ready.
Okay, so I actually was able to finish my makeup off camera. I just threw on a little lipstick. I ended up going with the regular lipstick, not the liquid lipstick because I'm just... I'm running out of time here, you guys. But I think I am going to put on a little lip gloss on top. I have to look for my Fenty Gloss Balm, the silver looking one. I was wearing it the other day on my Snapchat. It is literally like the bombest lip gloss ever. And it's very, very comfortable. Um, But if not, I guess I'm just going to have to wear something like this. Or I don't know. I just got to find a cute, like glossy lip gloss. <gasps> you know what? I think I can wear the Girlactic lip gloss. Be right back. Oh, you know what? This one's pretty. You know what? This one is fucking pretty. What is it? I still haven't finished. Oh, dead! Leave it at! You know what? This is pretty. We're just gonna stick to this right here. So this is what I'm wearing for today. I still have to put on deodorant and lotion, but I'm pretty much done. I'm gonna throw everything in my little purse, and that's that. This outfit is from Meshki, for those of you guys who are wondering. I feel like my tits are... I feel like I can't really breathe, honestly. All right, you guys, so that completes today's video. This is the finished look, wig done. I went with like a baby girl kind of vibe, obviously. I'm really happy with how the look came out, even though I'm like super in a rush and I have to call my Uber right now and Ani is waiting outside the door for me, like literally right now. All right, you guys, I have to go catch my Uber and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.